is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a video about how to read more, how to finish more books, all that sort of stuff. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater oh, 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 this bed as I want. So basically this is one of the most requested videos I've ever gotten. And I find that a lot of these videos are really repetitive so hopefully this video will offer like a different kind of opinion but some of the standard tips I will be mentioning because they do help. One is not really bookish but just get your priorities straight so whatever like make a list or like a top five of your priorities so if that's work, school, family, friends, whatever it is in any order you want whatever is on like whatever is your top priority make it that but reading should be in that top five if you want to read a lot. Um, that's just my opinion. That's how I feel about it. Reading um, helps comfort me. It makes it teaches me things. It it like reading helps helps me cope, and it also is just very interesting to me. It's a lot of learning. It's a lot of just. I get to escape into this new book. I think you guys know why I like reading and why you guys read and stuff, but. Yeah, definitely. I always say this. If you love reading, you'll make time for it. I think a lot of people always talk about time and like there's not enough time. Like you're a reader, you um, has too much time. It's like, or like I've gotten like the response from like non-bookish people that are like, how do you read? Like, how do you have time to read? Like you make time. You make time. And if you make it a priority, you'll do it more. And also, just if you've been reading for a while, the f like kind of I figured the more you read, kind of the faster you get at it. And then reading speed is a whole other thing, but it does definitely it definitely does not mean much. Like of course it will impact how much you're finishing and stuff, but like it doesn't mean much in terms of intelligence or whatever. Read one, make reading a priority. Like not your number one priority unless that's what you want. I don't know, um, but make reading a priority and you can make time for it. Just improve on your time management skills. Maybe set aside thirty minutes before bed. Maybe read early in the morning. Maybe in between classes at school, read a couple pages. Maybe instead of scrolling on your phone when you have time, download an ebook on your phone and scroll through that and read that. Uh, just little things like that. Or when you're cleaning your room, listen to an audiobook. It helps. Three formats, you've probably heard that in a lot of videos, helps if you can balance multiple books at once. Then an audiobook is great to have, ebooks are great to have as well, and a physical book is good to have on you as well. So personally, I like the ebook for like if I'm uncomfortable pulling out a book somewhere like if it's kind of inappropriate for me in like a social setting to pull out a book then I kind of just pull out my phone like everybody else but I'm reading instead <laughs> or when I'm cleaning my room or like someone asks me to do something clean something whatever in my house then I can turn on an audiobook and listen to that and I listen to audiobooks at double speed so I get through them pretty fast. Um, you can get audiobooks and ebooks for free on Overdrive through your library if that works, but I know there's a couple other sites for that kind of stuff. So definitely, if you know of any, link that, like comment down below because the only one I know of is Overdrive and that's the one I use and I personally like. This is definitely, if you've been on BookTube, you make videos or you're just a viewer of a lot of BookTubers, you know about buddy reading and readathons. They're huge. Well, readathons more, I kind of think, but readathons are so helpful. Basically, usually a readathon is like, there's 24 hour readathons, there's weekly readathons, there's monthly readathons. Basically, you have to try to read as much as you can in that certain amount of days. And usually, there's challenges like read a book with yellow on the cover, read a book that, read a sci fi book, read this, read a book under 200 pages, whatever it is. That's kind of your, your goal. And you can base your 2BR, TBR, which is to be read, off of those books, which I know some people comment like, what is TBR? I'm like, it's to be read, um, which I get. It. It's not like a, a common, like, thingy for people who um don't watch booktubers often or whatever <laughs> readathons are fun to participate in i think the 24 hour like the dewey 24 hour one is my favorite i've done it maybe five times it was my first readathon i think it's a great starter it's definitely like a really fun one and if you're not used to like the week-long ones a uh, 24 hour one is always a lot of fun and you can find twitter sprints online um for the readathons like on the readathons twitter or whatever and you could talk to other people you can look up the hashtag and see what other people are reading it's just a lot of fun so buddy reads this is basically where i have a whole video actually on buddy reads so i'll link that up on the screen but buddy reading you get a person and you read a book together so that can help especially if you guys set like 
page goals per day if you're doing a very structured buddy read you can do it like that so chapters per day and this per day and then you're kind of wanting to keep up with the other person as well so you're going to try to read faster to just get through the book with the other person and you kind of discuss it along the way it's just a lot of fun so i think that could help with your reading as well so most of the things i, I want to talk about i already mentioned but a few other things is if you're in a readathon like there's the goodreads goal on goodreads where you can set a certain amount like this person wants to read 100 books this year it's like okay great so every time you log a book as read and you write your review or give it a star it goes on that shelf and you can see the little cover it's very pleasing to the eye um i definitely love it i've done it for three years now um but that can be intimidating for some people so some people don't set goodreads goals because they can't read that much or they don't want to read that much or whatever it is like if you like where you are at your reading and you like reading your at your pace feel free to do that but if you want to consume more novels and you feel like you can try to fit it in or you just want to read more but you feel like you're a slow reader then that's what kind of this video is for but I definitely think I definitely think if you're trying to like read a certain number which again that's a whole other discussion folk like not to focus on numbers and stuff but if you are trying to reach that goodreads goal at the end of the year or you're just trying to like feel like you're reading more poetry graphic novels manga always good fast reads for a lot of people um definitely depends on which ones and things like that but they're definitely fast reads and if you're in like a slump so you don't feel like reading or whatever then those are little gateways all the time and also just to switch up what you're reading like some people can do this some people can't but if you read like five fantasy books in a row you're kind of gonna get tired out so there's always the option of just switching it up and throwing in like something else <laughs> there you guys have it those were kind of my tips tricks that sort of thing for how to read more i hope you guys liked it let me know in the comments down below um i'd love to hear your thoughts definitely i could do many discussions around stuff like this so let me know if you would like to see it and if this video was at all helpful to you i hope it was a little bit different than other people's videos because i know a few people have made these videos if you look it up but i hope mine offered some different insight for you guys so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you super soon bye